Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Skyrim, the anniversary edition. We are over here in this mountain, about to go speak to this Almond Motier guy, or whatever. It's actually we're just right here. Had to do a little bit of walking, but not too much, because we had a fast travel point relatively close by. I don't really remember this place, but I know I've done it before. I'm a little bit tired myself, and the rain just started coming in. So, uh... You no, know, every now and then the rain is ideal. Sometimes it's annoying how it drips, and other times it's soothing. Right now it feels soothing. So yeah, there's this thing. That's right, the ceremonial weapons. I do remember doing that. But I don't think we have to do it for this Dark Brotherhood thing. <laughs> just kicking around the bones. Yeah, he's just over here. So this whole vault, whatever, this, this crypt, it's its own thing, separate from this, I guess. By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. Right then, you prefer to listen, is that it? Well, you must represent the Dark Brotherhood. I certainly wasn't expecting anyone else. So, I'll cut right to the chase. I would like to arrange a contract, several actually. I dare say the most important work your organization has had in, well, centuries. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets as well as their manners of elimination quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of... the Emperor. It's a shocking request, I know, but it is inside the purview of what you Dark Brotherhood types do, isn't it? If history is to be believed, you must understand. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now you're here as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, let me give you these. They are to be delivered to your, um, superior. Rexus! The items. That clap was a little bit unnecessary. They didn't animate it. Here. Yeah. <laughs> the sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Is that it? Is there something else you need? Where's my money? Uh, will require significant compensation. <laughs> oh, my furtive friend. When Emperor Titus Mead the Second lies dead, there will be gold. A fortune in gold, but so much more. It is said that the Dark Brotherhood in recent years has been in decline. That you lack the power, wealth, and respect of days past. Is it not so? If you do this, if you kill the Emperor, oh, how the masses will fear and respect you. Is that what people do things for? You must deliver those items to your superior, and I... Get out of this foul place. So I was just thinking back to the Thieves Guild, not the Dark Brotherhood. I have vowed to serve Armand Motier until my dying breath. Best remember that. Whatever, dude. Is there something else you need? Yeah, the Thieves Guild, you would think being a thief, you gotta steal stuff because that's how you make your living. So how do they pay so much money for every thief job you do? I don't know, I don't know. I'm not a businessman. I don't know how this stuff works. I'm jumping. Is that gonna be a problem? I hope not. You cannot fast travel while jumping or falling. Okay. The clunk, man. It would be cool to use the backstab feature a little bit more often. 
with the one-handed weapons and using that invisibility thing I have. But it's like the bow does the job, so. You're back. Good. All right, so, did you meet this Motier? What did he want? You're joking. What's this? By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what, but what we now have before us... <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter, and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm... What you thinking about? I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the rat way in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... Uh, history. He can be trusted. All right. Well, we'll go meet up with them then. Something you need? Anything for the guild. Don't look like much to me. Oh. Uh, oh, I see. Well, you're making friends all over, ain't ya? So, uh, how's Astrid doing these days? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, but business, of course. What kind of business? Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council, specially crafted for each member. We have a small fortune. Ain't something you'd give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood it's business, but if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe... Buy it. This, an Elder Council amulet? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wait just one moment. Here is a letter of credit, usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress. With my regards. It was all kind of pointless, really. Good. You're back. Well... What did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh yes, you've got to kill the bride. At her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. 
The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go, and give my best to the bride. All right. I remember this mission. It's actually kind of neat. Bound until death. We don't need any more conversation. Off to solitude with you. Time to give the Emperor some real motivation to visit Skyrim. So, they're actually talking about potential severe weather. Um, with this rain that just started up. Not so much where I live, but a little bit west of me. I think it's gotta be daytime for this. So we might have to wait actually a little bit. Lighting does a good job of making it feel like early morning. Typical imperial rot. I'm so glad Vittoria and Asgard like chose you know the public reception. No. That way There's a lot of conversation going on. I don't really know what's happening. You what an amazing day this has been. Nothing. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed. Such kindness for me. Oh, no need to be shy. My day is your day, please. Eat, drink, make merry. We're all friends here. Please, enjoy yourself. Yeah, we're not really friends, lady. So you want to wait for them to stand up. Because that's when they're going to go give the speech. I'm just here to provide protection for his eminence's cousin. Please, enjoy yourself. I'm a little bit worried about this because we did not do the Thieves Guild Solitude thing. So we're not going to have the Thieves Guild option to escape any bounty we accrue. And my working days are done. So that means we're going to have to fight and run. Oh, here they go. Okay. I'm just here to provide go. I'm going to beat them up here. Please enjoy us. Who is this La La lady? She best shut up. She's next. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you go there, okay? So that means I gotta move. So as soon as she th starts speaking, that's when we strike. Good friends and neighbors. I just wanted to take this time to thank you all for being here. To thank you for sharing this wonderfully happy day with me. Oh, wonderfully back. happy indeed. Now we gotta move, take everything that we can. And we gotta remember anything that we steal, we're gonna get caught in the realm of solitude again. So we're gonna have to stop by the Thieves Guild shop and sell this stuff back before it's stripped Victoria, off of us. No. So get the heck out of here. Oh. Has been murdered. Hey, wait a minute, is that... Our buddy's here. I didn't know he came. Wow, Astrid ordered him to keep an eye on us. Holy crap, there's a bunch of them. I don't think there is a way to do that stealthy. no fast travel while you're being hunted down too so we gotta just move until we're safe thank you for the light armor increase see ya there's another one down by these stables though
who that guy is. I like this area of solitude though, it's kind of neat. I want to do the solitude thief skill thing. It involves like infiltrating a ship or something and it's kind of neat. From what I remember. Are we safe? Well, no, there's still firing arrows in here. Once we cross to the other shoreline, we should be good. But yeah, severe weather in the wintertime scares me. Just because it gets dark so early, so, like, you get nighttime tornadoes. I think we're good, man. Gotta find somewhere to stand. I don't know if you can fast travel in water. Maybe, but I don't trust it after that whole jumping thing. Report back to Astrid. Okay, so we're just going back now. But now I fear solitude, like I said. And it's not even like I could do Vex and Delvin jobs, because that involves going back to solitude, hopefully. And stepping foot there is the problem now. So the stolen goods is the thing that we gotta be cautious of. We gotta get rid of them. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. She bled like a stock pig. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an Emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. One thousand gold and some kind of spell that, once again, we're probably never going to use. As I said, go speak with Gabriella. She's been assisting me with your next contract. Gabriella is not the little girl. So it must be just one of the other. Oh, hey, he's back. Ah, you're back. It was good to fight alongside you. I'm sure people won't be forgetting that wedding anytime soon, hmm? Thanks, Egg Brother. Whatever the heck they call each other all the time. I like that, dude. Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sifus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge, or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. Ah, uh, yes. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. 
Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Yeah, I remember this crazy thing. We gotta get this dude's schedule. And, uh... No. So your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule, somewhere in the Penitus Arculatus outpost. Securing that would, obviously, be most beneficial. So wherever the waypoint is, let's just go there. But we gotta memorize Walking that schedule. I do remember it being important. To deliver to him the judgment of Sithis. I serve Astrid and this sanctuary. Life is simple and good. All right, I've made my way here to the Dragon Bridge. It's in the region of Solitude. But I made sure to sell whatever I had on me that I know was stolen. But uh, there's still probably a whole bunch of other stuff, too. What? Ah, oh, crap. Speaking of... You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? What is our bounty? 1,045. I can't do it now. We're by the objective. So I'd rather die, man. Ah, oh, no, and here's the guy that we need. So we could kill him now and forego the bonus. But we need his schedule, which is in here. This is gonna be ridiculous. This is the last mistake. Well, let me just get it now. There it is. Yeah, they have weird words for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and all that. So Monday, he's in solitude. I don't know what day it is. Whatever, if you guys are going to be doing this, I'll just steal right in front of you. We're just going to have to run again. If I can get out off of the porch here, okay. Uh, we need to heal a little bit somehow. So the bonus, of course, like, we could just kill him now. We could kill him on the road here. But it's best to read that paper, find out where he's going to be, and get him in the other towns that he's visiting. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. It's not showing which one is uh, him anymore. I wish I had that Thieves Guild option. That's the benefit, man, of the stupid RNG roulette. Of doing those small jobs for Vex and Delvin. Had we gotten five Solitude ones, I could have told that guard, I'm part of the Thieves Guild, look the other way. And I could have stayed exactly where I am. I don't know what this is. Because had I said, pay my bounty, he would have taken me to the Solitude jail anyway and uh stripped me of all my stuff but that thieves guild option you keep all your stuff you pay less of a price and you get to stay exactly where you are you aren't teleported to the prison these guys are still after me too so i don't know in my mind it's more reason that that should be linear and not random the jobs from vex and delvin I think we did one solitude job. I remember one. I don't remember any others. So that means there's still four more to do. And we have a bounty, so if we step foot in solitude, that's going to happen every time now. So no matter what, i got to pay it and forego my goods. Which could be potions. It could be... I don't know. We should probably read his schedule. 
Because, yeah, we're, we're kind of stuck now. We can't fast travel by crabs. They're considered enemies. I'm hoping that they're done chasing me. I saw them book a sharp left, but there doesn't seem to be a path for them to go, so I don't know. Let's uh, take a look at that thing so we have a better idea. So Monday was solitude. That sucks. It's Laredo's right now, which says to just go wherever at your discretion. So we got to wait until Monday and do solitude. That's the soonest one. Or do we even have to trigger? We might have to just trigger the actual movement of him first. I don't know. Can't fast travel while guards are pursuing you. Great. This is going clunky and sideways all of a sudden. Um... Let's just double check that we don't have to actually hear this dude speak before he sets off on his way to follow his schedule. You have committed Watch. Crimes oh, he found me. What say you your defense? All right, I'll pay up and I, whatever. The stuff is gone. I don't care so much about the gold. Smart man. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. Off you pay the fine, of course. Jerk. Well, now we're in solitude, so we could just wait till the Monday. The Emperor's cousin killed right here in solitude. I feel nothing but shame. That sucks, man. I don't know what they stripped me of. Two hundred and one. I don't know what it was at. Oh well. We still have all our weapons and stuff, so that's what matters most, I guess. Okay, after a lot of waiting, I have found this guy. He's in the wide open. Looks like he's going in the tower. Good, because that's where I remember on my first playthrough taking care of this guy. Or no, it was in Markarth I took care of him. But they stole the letter. I don't have his schedule anymore because that was considered a stolen good and they took it off of me. And this is the only one I remember is that Mondays is he's in solitude. Oh jeez, look at them all. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold Let's support just hope him. this is a one-hit deal. It's not a cause. It's a deal. It's not. Never should have come here. That's not good. Are they waking up? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Plant the, the incriminating letter. I almost forgot about that part of it. Take his armor. Let's see if we can sell it. So the incriminating letter would be here somewhere. There it is. Store it. And that's that. Mission accomplished. What's this letter from father business going on? That probably conflicts with what we planted on him, but whatever, it could stay. It's worth nothing. I'm not taking it. Oh no, there's a million of them. This was not a problem in Markarth when I took care of them my first time. Suddenly solitude is giving me the trouble that uh, Markarth originally gave me. I guess really when you assassinate that bride at her wedding, there's no help for it. 
I should have known to try to do the Thieves Guild thing. Just like off screen, try to random chance it and do that job first. Looks like we're running again. It would be neat to try survival mode where your health doesn't regenerate and uh, the problem is I think there's an encumbrance thing that's even worse. Like you're only allowed to carry oh, yeah. so much. Because there's aspects of this that are ridiculously way too easy. It almost feels like they're maybe not supposed to be. right there whoops well here we are again swimming away from arrows <sighs> oh well there's gotta be some ultimate benefit in doing this stuff before the main quest I don't know I don't think it matters the game's difficulty and it leveling up the enemies it's curved based on your playtime and stuff So I don't think there's a way to make anything particularly like super easy that guarantee one hit kills. I think the main quest has a lot of those Draugr things, those like dead crypt monsters. And I know they do get stronger and level with you a little bit. Ah, at last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. You have done well, and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. It's... Cicero. There's been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Oh yeah, Cicero never did like him, did we? Just try to relax, Mizara. Let the elixir do its work. You'll feel better shortly. Ah, thank you, dear. You are most kind. The jester's cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Damn it, this never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better and still we let our guards down. Ah. I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know, but we've got bigger problems right now. The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Yeah, well, we should have killed him oh, when we true, had the chance. I'm afraid Cicero was a little whirlwind, slashing this way and that. It would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. Don't forget the ranting and raving. About the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood. And Astrid was just a pretender. Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. After the attack, Onbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Onbjorn went after him. They disappeared into the wild. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. Tested by a fool. Who's the fool now, hmm? Hush, Vizara. You were very brave. It's the alias Vizara or whatever his name is. It's like the most reasonable character so far. Like how can they all be assassins and none of them can stop this crazy dude? Yeah, I think you just gotta get this one particular book. It might be important to read, I don't know. I could always do that off screen though. He's got other journals laying about here, but... The objective said to just pick that one up. This place can kind of 
be amazed. Have you found something? Good, good. Does it say where he may be headed? The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void. In as many pieces as possible. That's right, we do have to read the thing for the passphrase. I took that prancing fool into my home, and this is how he repays me? Well, I guess uh, we will do that next time, because we're already way up there on time. Although I'm going to cut out a lot of that waiting. But thanks for watching, and take care.